first Hebrew reading from Amos chapter 7, verses 7 through 15. This is what the Lord showed me. The Lord was standing by a wall with a plumb line in hand. The Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? A plumb line, I said. Then the Lord said, see, I'm setting the plumb line in the middle of my people Israel. I will never again forgive them. The shrines of Isaac will be made desolate, and the holy places of Israel will be laid west. I will rise again the house of Jeroboam with my sword. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, reported to Israel's king Jeroboam, Amos had plotted against you within the house of Israel. The land isn't able to cope with everything that he is saying. Amos had said, Jeroboam will die by the sword, and Israel will be forced out of its land. Amaziah said to Amos, You who see things, go, run away to the land of Judah. Eat your bread there and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's holy place and his royal house. Amos answered Amaziah, I am not a prophet, nor am I a prophet's son, but I am a shepherd and a trimmer of sycamore trees. But the Lord took me from shepherding the flock, and the Lord said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Second Hebrew reading, chapter, uh, second Samuel chapter 6, verses 12 through 19. So David went and brought the ark of the Lord up from Obadiah's house to David's city with celebration. Whenever those bearing the ark of the Lord advanced six steps, David sacrificed an ox and a fatling calf. David, dressed in a linen priestly vest, danced with all his strength before the Lord. This is how David and the entire house of Israel brought up the Lord's chest with shouts and trumpet blasts. As the ark of the Lord entered David's city, Saul's daughter, Michael, was watching from a window. She saw King David jumping and dancing before the Lord, and she lost all respect for him. The ark of the Lord was brought in and put in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. Then David offered entirely burnt offerings to the Lord's presence in addition to well-being sacrifices. When David finished offering the entirely burnt offerings and the well-being sacrifices, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of heavenly forces. He distributed food among all the people of Israel, to the whole crowd, male and female, each receiving a loaf of bread a date cake, and a raisin cake. Then all the people went back to their homes.